All right, so in this short video, I'm going to show you how I put this together, this lathe uh, bed extension on here. And it's a part number to fit my 10-inch lathe. That's a part number KWLXBED10. And I've got a Turn Crafter Commander 10-inch lathe, variable speed. Uh, but it doesn't have a swing head or anything that goes over for doing larger bowls. Nor does it have a reverse. But it's got the indexing and everything too in my head. And this comes as this piece here. And a page of instructions, which I'll put up a copy of here. Yeah, I'll put up a copy. And you can see what this is constructed of and how it's made. It's a cast iron. And I've got the bolt holes here. I'm going to bolt into the end of this. And this plastic piece on here, I'm not sure why they got it on there, but this will come off. So, and then it will suspend on here. And it extends my bed. Actually, the length of this, it's sold as a 10 inch bed extension, but putting a tape measure to it, it's 14 inches long. And my lathe is like 28, uh, so I get like a 36, 36 inch bed length by putting this on here. A lot more than I thought. I thought it was only going to be a 30 inch, but it's going to give me a 36 inch. And as you can see, I've got clearance yet for uh, this little rack I've got here for my lathe chisels for when I'm doing turning. So that'll be handy, at least I don't have to get rid of that. So to put this on, they give you a couple of socket head screws, along with some flat washers and lock washers, and you have an Allen wrench you know, for tightening this up too. And then for aligning it, make sure it's perfectly level and everything, you get it snugged up and then use a uh, like one of those dead blow hammers, it's like a mallet and kind of tap things into place and once it's perfect then you just cinch the nuts down or the bolts down and that'll be it so i will get on and do that so i got this set here and i got those bolts started with the washers and the lock washers on them and it's just loose now and i just have to snug it up a little bit then get these lined up so they line up perfectly and level so my tool goes across it's not going to hit and hang on anything. So sitting on the table already because it's attached to the table. It's a little bit precarious on getting underneath here. Uh, getting the wrench on it so you can tighten these up. Let me go by hand a little bit more. That's really good and even. Uh, this one needs to come up a little bit. So I'll have to see how I can finagle that. I think we're doing pretty good there. I'll get these cinched down there, tightened down, and test how the tailstock runs across that. Hey, okay, now to try my tailstock on. That slips under. It hits up against there. A little bit and it goes up. It goes that way, but coming this way, it's, it's got a raise this end up a little bit. So we'll do that and get it done, but at least you get the gist of what we got going on here. Okay, so now we've got the whole thing on, and you can see how long it makes the bed now. And like I said, the length of the bed itself is gonna be like 36 inches now. Yeah, actually about 38 inches in length, and the working length, depending on what tailstock you use and stuff, or headstock, but the max you can probably get out of it is going to be about 34 inches, depending on what you use. Well, I should measure from the headstock here to there, and that's almost 33, 32 and 3 quarter inch. Uh, I'd probably call it like a 31 or 32 or maybe 30 inch by the time you get the headstock and the tailstock on you'll have 30 inches of space left over to work with, so. Uh, not a bad deal. That's pretty good for the price. It was 50 bucks, plus uh, I think it's $15 for shipping. And I went through 
all kinds of things to try and figure out is this going to actually fit on my lathe so and it does so that's great because the alternative was one that had a leg at the end and I think it take up more space yet and I'm going to have to move some stuff if I do that and that one was like uh, 110 or 120 dollars for that one so this was half the price and accomplishes what I need for the lengths that I'm going to work with with the 10 inch midi lathe or mini lathe so that works for me great so if you're looking to buy one of these uh, this works out pretty good the only object you're going to run into is getting these leveled up here I and mean, they level up great but not quite as perfect as you might expect uh, run to that but you know it's just a matter of leveling it up with a hammer I won't waste your time to show you doing that so great hope this uh, works for you hope you enjoyed it and if you like this please give me a like a thumbs up and also please share it with your family friends and uh, fellow craft workers and please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on anything new you never know what I'm gonna come up with next and leave me your comments love to hear what you think what you like to see what your questions are uh, so we can help you out and a lot of times we get a lot of great comments that teaches us too so if the ladies don't think you're handsome at least they should find you handy thank you